Um, yesterday in California, also on Super Tuesday, there was um, low voter turnout. Do you have any concerns, you know, two of you also being from California come November, um, especially now with Haley dropping out, it's seeming like it's going to be a Biden-Trump rematch, and voters are unenthusiastic about that kind of ballot. Um, do you have any concerns of voter turnout in November with that? You know, with Donald Trump at the top of the ticket, uh, Republicans at the top of the ticket in California are going to squirm um, because, you know, independent you know, voices in, in California uh, detest Donald Trump's policies. Uh, that is overwhelmingly going to be the driving force um, when it comes to turnout in, in California. This is not unlike 2012 when Democrats uh, uh, in the Democratic primary uh, when the uh, president of our party was seeking re-election, uh, turnout in the primary was incredibly low, um, and then uh, picked back up in, in November. That is always expected from the primary to the general in California, <clears throat> more so when there isn't much um, on the ballot driving the top of the ticket um, in way of contested races. And so uh, this was expected. We knew this was going to be low. The data that we track knew this was going to be low. Um, my expectation is that uh, the state of California is going to make its voice heard uh, on November 5th, um, denouncing uh, Donald Trump and his policies and those people who support those policies.